Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Good day, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Trick or Treat Horror Fest. Um, I'm DJ Surreal, of course, your host with from Descent Sundays, Vancouver's goth industrial event. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Knights of Bad Astom. Yeah, you heard me right. Knights of Bad Astom. So this movie is actually as hilarious as the trailer makes it look, <laughs> which is not something I could say for all movies. Um, I will also say that if you're not familiar with the gaming or LARPing world, um, you probably won't enjoy this movie. There's lots of little jokes that probably would only be funny to people who game LARP or know people who game in LARP and are, have heard some of these terms. Otherwise, you're just going to be like, what is going on here? People actually do this? Yeah, they do. <laughs> so um, this movie actually has a couple of favorite actors of mine. Um, you got Peter Dinklage that most people know from Game of Thrones and then you actually have Summer Glau from Firefly. Yay, Firefly! Brown coat till the end, just saying. So yeah, um, there's also, I can't remember his name, but he's from True Blood and he actually plays the main character and he's pretty awesome in it. So it's got a pretty good cast. Um, basic storyline is that they, um, the main, main guy is, is heartbroken and his girlfriend breaks up with him because she tells him that he's not, um, motivated or driven enough and uh yeah so she breaks up with him he's all heartbroken his friends get him drunk and high until he passes out and then they abduct him and take him to a weekend long larp thing and he wakes up basically being like what the fuck where the fuck am i because he used to larp but he stopped because of his girlfriend and uh his friends are all like oh you should totally do this to celebrate your you know not being a part of her anymore and anyway so they go about and uh, he's now a level one character and they're moving about and his friend is trying to level up to a, a level 27 sorcerer and he bought this new book that he found on the internet. And so he's trying to perform a spell to basically level up and in this spell um, they accidentally summon a demon who takes the form of the ex-girlfriend because hey he was the like you know he was the one sitting in the middle of the circle and that's who he was thinking about. So that's who the demon looks like. Anyway, so she goes around on a, the demon goes around on a rampage killing a bunch of people. And it's really funny because every time she approaches a new group of people, everybody thinks that she's just in character. <laughs> oh no, you're one of those freaky vampire LARPers, right? Wrong weekend, honey. So she comes up to him and ends up like totally massacre, massacring people. They don't even do anything. Like she kills like several people and the their friends are standing there and they're like, oh, this, this isn't a game. <laughs> anyway, so it's, it's really fun. Um, it's a great movie if you just want something simple, fun, relaxed. Um, it is technically classified as horror. The death scenes are pretty gory. Um, so be, be aware of that. Um, but overall, it's just, a, it's a really fun movie. So definite treat. Check it out, and uh, thank you for joining us for another episode of Trick or Treat Horror Fest. Come back tomorrow for another great horror movie review. Good evening, or afternoon. Actually, I have no idea what time I did to post this. Let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that! Let's do that! Okay, okay, sorry. Now I'm just being silly. I'm just being silly! <laughs>